Hey, 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 this is John with Desert Rock Pottery here, coming to you live from Phoenix, Arizona. Give me one minute. Gonna start this video off here in just a second. Okay, wow, I'm on top of the world. <laughs> okay, so here, I'll bring this, clean the camera. Woo. We are here, I apologize for the lateness. Normally we do this at nine o'clock. However, every two weeks uh, I have a 9 a.m. appointment. So I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be rescheduling this for a later time every week. Uh, so I don't have um, these, uh, these issues here. So, Real quickly today, we're going to just jump right in here. Um, got one participant who is me. Okay. Uh, so anyways, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a beautiful day here in Phoenix, Arizona. We have so many things that have been going on. I can hardly contain myself. Unfortunately, I did not write up a... Um, write up a uh, little um, agenda here. It's just been crazy, crazy busy. Last week, we had a appointment every single day of the week, I think, from Sunday. We actually had on Sunday, we had our first cancellation. Not something to be proud of, but it is interesting how things go. Um, it was a group on and the party had to cancel due to some other uh, personal issues. So um, I'm just looking here. My computer, excuse me, my computer is so dusty. My house here is extremely dusty. I'm actually out in the studio to get away from all the noise of uh, dogs. And my cat doesn't make any noise unless she's hissing at the one of the dogs and my birds so but I get away from my birds and I have the birds outside don't know if you can hear them but anyway so extremely busy Sunday we had the one cancellation but we did have one of our members come and use the studio then Monday through Friday we had one class every single day and on Saturday we had three classes uh, we have gone ahead and changed the hours down to two and a half hours for each session. Um, and what this will allow is now that we have two potter's wheels, uh, this will allow us to be able to actually serve even more individuals um, as evidenced by having three back-to-back -back classes on this past Saturday. Sunday was our normal time of rest. We don't like to normally do uh, classes or anything. We will once in a while make an exception, but um, so this past Sunday went to church, good stuff. Um, and this week has been exceptionally slow. Um, I do have two classes later this week. I'm going to bring up my schedule oh, that's the wrong thing that's the wrong thing here let me click on the right thing okay so um actually today i have a member coming in the studio uh this evening around 6 30. uh then i think it was on saturday saturday we have two back-to-back -back, uh students one well almost back-to-back one is at uh, 9.45 and one is at 2.15. Be wonderful, wonderful. So we are continuing to work towards getting into a commercial space. Uh, I have applied for uh, our LLC this past week. Um, uh, this, uh, I forget what day it was. So we are waiting on that. Um, I looked at a property yesterday uh, on a walk, um, so I will be calling them today. Uh, what else has been going on? Um, 
there's not been much, uh, just completed a firing, took a very, very long time. This is right here. This is my notes. I don't know if it looks backwards to me, but I keep notes on, uh, on uh, the firing. And from, we started on the 19th, today's the 21st, started on the 19th and uh, at uh, 10 20 uh, 10 34 excuse me can't read 10 34 started my uh, the firing on uh, the evening of the 19th it was supposed to start it on the 18th on Sunday but after last week I was so exhausted I just did not get to it uh, so started at uh, 10. 34 on the 19th and um, actually shut off the kiln last night at 9.05. So 20, uh, almost 23 hours, 22 and a half hours later, I'm shutting off the kiln. The problem is this, the, the kiln only reached uh, 1,700 and 59 degrees 1759 and we were shooting for 18 and even 1800 degrees is not even hot enough um however uh, i have been informed that the uh, elements for my kiln um have come in uh, i was actually up at uh, marjan ceramics here in phoenix my supplier and so they have it uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually bring the kiln to them um so the nothing is cheap in pottery uh, the elements were about 160 dollars i think and the bench charge to put them in is like starting off at about 40 dollars. i'm hoping it's not going to be more because i don't really have much more than that um we have seen a slowdown in our um in our business uh this week particularly um right now we're just working with people who've already made their uh, reservations but we have not had new business no uh, we have not had new uh, appointments scheduled either from the website um which is kind of concerning, or from uh, the Groupon. Uh, I understand about Groupon because we have actually put a pause on it because we were trying to change things around. And I was a little slow at getting things done, my bad. And now I'm feeling the, the, the heat because of it. Um, and I, I got everything done. And then they said, oh, well, you need to change your prices. Uh, basically, what, what what was is they were looking at the prices as posted on our website, and the prices have to match um, what the prices I put on Groupon. Did not know this, or did not realize this, and so now I had to change the prices on the website so that it would match the prices that I already had on Groupon because I'm slowly progressing and increasing just a little bit. Um, so that way we can be closer to where I, I want our target uh, pricing. Now, of course, with Groupon, uh, the, um, the customer gets a, a discount and uh, then of course, Groupon takes their share uh so i was trying to bring the prices up just a, a little bit marginally um so hopefully within the next day um i was uh, in a chat with groupon and they're like oh well you know they had their their the person i was talking to clearly seemed to be not from this country and um they just put a a um what do they call it uh 
a canned message out there. Oh, you know, you need to check, blah, 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 blah. I said, I already did this yesterday. So this was two days ago I changed it. Didn't even check to see if I did it. Just, oh, well, this is what they're showing. Well, I had already done this, folks. And, you know, so kind of upset me a little bit, you know, that they're not even checking um, and they're taking so long. When I first started with, uh, with uh, Groupon, literally it was a few hours and they got things up and running. So people are not checking to see if things have been done. And I even sent a message to them saying, okay, this has been done, uh, but they clearly did not get that message. So hopefully um, within this next day or so, the Groupon will be back up and running. Um, because they don't, that I couldn't see a way of canceling the one. So now I know prices have to match. Uh, learning experience for me. Um, look, I said I looked at a property yesterday, uh, which is by walking maybe 10 minutes away, uh, by car is about two minutes away uh, from where we're located now. Um, actually, the property had two doors. They would, they had a smaller space and a much larger space. And the two spaces actually are connected. They, uh, on the inside, they actually have, I think, three doorways or passageways between the two spaces. We would only need one space and most likely the smaller of the two spaces. Because um, it's, oh, two, three times bigger than the space I'm in now. Um, so that would be a good thing. I'm just noticing I got something on my cheek. I don't know. Anyways, um, so just did the, the firing. I am really excited. I had one of the pieces I had done. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the computer here over to where I'm going to be at. Let me move this over here. And I will bring the computer with me. And I'm wondering, oh man. So I think I'm going to just lean this back. We are, check out the temperature here, 100 and, uh, okay, forgot to turn my phone off. Not sure if it, you can see about 116 degrees in the studio or in the, the kiln. I had already opened it up and uh, Okay, I'm going to open this up. The one piece, I actually done two pieces with some pure sig. I'm hoping it's still kind of warm. This is a beautiful piece. I think what I'm going to have to do is, I don't know how to do it now. It's still quite warm. Put it back in here. And I'll close this up, but really excited to let that cool off. Um, so let me take this stool here. Um, so uh, really, we'll be excited. I actually had done two pieces. Uh, um, putting the terracig uh, terracotta uh, color. Uh, terracig is short for terracigulata. It's a, a very fine particle, uh, very, very liquid um, uh, mixture with, with the, the clay particles. Uh, and they stay pretty much in suspension. So, um, you brush it on. And so the way I was doing it is I have it on the potter's wheel. I will brush it on 
And because these are larger pieces, maybe about uh, eight or 10 inches tall, um, I brush it on and then I take a, just a plastic bag. And as the piece is spinning on the wheel, I'll use the plastic bag to kind of burnish or, or to bring out the shine. And we'll move this up a little bit. There we go. Um, so very interesting uh, uh, thing. So once that gets uh, cool, I will be pull, uh, unloading the, the kiln. I am going through and taking care of, uh, I have a bunch of pieces that uh, people are uh, waiting for. Um, I have to send the emails out, so I'm going to try to do that today, as long as I have the time uh, and not teaching classes. That's one challenge that I've been having uh, is that um, I'm teaching these classes and it's physically demanding for me. And um, then it's like I, I'll work on the computer and all that, but uh, sometimes it's just really tiresome. Uh, I have put a uh, an ad in two different places uh, for looking for a um, a, uh, an, a another instructor. Um, so we'll see how that goes. One of one of the places was on Facebook, and there's like a Facebook ad for for uh, jobs, and the other one was one of the art local art councils or something, uh, which was a free posting. So. Um, other than that, oh, I left my, I left my, uh, my trackball over here. So basically, uh, make sure. Okay, um, that's about all that I've had for the day. Um, uh, we're just going to keep on moving forward. Um, we've had a few setbacks, but you know what? It's all good. It's all good. So um, remember to keep on practicing. Um, eventually, uh, I would like to get into a situation where I can do uh, virtual teaching. Um, but that works more for, well, for the potter's wheel. You'd obviously have to have a, some kind of potter's wheel. Uh, and then for uh, hand building, you just need to have some basic tools. So maybe I'll, I will, I might start that out. Um, still thinking about that. So this has been John with Desert Pottery. Keep on practicing and we will see you next week. I will be posting, uh, changing the schedule of this uh, probably more to like 10 uh, or 11 o'clock. Uh, so We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.